Giants took care of business at home today, defeating the Chicago Bears by a score of 20 to 12. The keys of the game, Daniel Jones going out with an apparent ankle injury uh, late in the game. However, he did return an interesting sequence of events. I'll walk you through it. Tyrod Taylor comes in at quarterback, replaces Daniel Jones following Jones's injury. Now Taylor, uh, he gets hit really hard in the head. Uh, it looks like a concussion. He's being evaluated as we speak. Taylor goes out of the game, and the Giants do not have a third quarterback. Um, they're not carrying a third quarterback on their active roster. So they send Daniel Jones back out there, but he doesn't line up under center. It's Saquon Barkley under center, who takes a direct snap for about three or four consecutive plays. Jones is just sort of a decoy lined up at wide receiver. Eventually, Jones settles back in under center, but he's not running to the same level he was earlier. And the level he was earlier, well, that was two touchdowns on the ground. Um, those were the only two touchdowns. Despite Saquon Barkley leading the Giants and rushing with nearly 150 yards, it was Daniel Jones who punched it in for the G-Men both times. Graham Gano also added to the Giants' score with, I believe, two or three field goals. He missed a key field goal toward the end of the game that would have given the Giants a two-score lead. And it left the door open for the Bears with just under a minute to go. Um, you know, the Bears couldn't do much. There was a wild last play of the game that consisted of a series of laterals. Uh, eventually, the Giants' defense took care of business, but a lot of good things for the Giants uh, on this three-game homestand. Of course, they go 2-1. and one. They're 3-1 and one for the first time in God knows how long. Uh, you know, Saquon Barkley was asked after the game, you know, this is his, what, fifth year with the team, and this is his first time with a record of 3-1. and one. Yeah, How do you feel about this? This is what he had to say. The way that we come to work, um, how we adjust. Uh, I feel like every week, you know, especially in the running game, like the run that's hitting is not the one that hit the week before, the week prior. Uh, and it just shows not just how versatile the coaches are, but uh, our players, especially the guys up front. Um, they're doing a great job setting poles. I got to be a little better for them in the beginning of the game uh, when they give me opportunities to get them safety. Uh, that's a couple plays taken my mind, especially the long one. I got to break that in front of the end zone. But, and the, the, the great thing about it, uh, as we continue to trust each other, we're going to get better. Just keep leaning on the whole line and keep trusting the system. And week by week, try to find a way to go one up. Beyond that, Coach Dable was pleased with this team's performance. And he had this to say in the presser after the game. You know, I thought our line did a good job. We ran the ball inside, we ran the ball outside. Had a couple scheme runs in there that we liked this particular week. And then 26 is, uh, you know, I've said it since OTAs. Is, Really good football player. So, you know, that along with Daniels, what do you have, about 70 or something on there? Um, you know, that's the way we wanted to play this game. Well, let's not forget about Daniel Jones. Uh, he has been the heart and soul of this Giants team, which, you know, you didn't think he'd say going into the season, but Daniel Jones, all things considered, with not a lot of weapons to work with, has had a pretty decent season. He doesn't have a lot of protection up front. He had that today more so than he had before. Uh, in part thanks to playing against a Chicago defensive front that isn't the Dallas Cowboys defensive front or the Tennessee Titans defensive front. So that definitely helps a little bit, but Daniel Jones is making the correct plays. And that's, as a Giants fan, for all the Giants fans here in East Rutherford, New Jersey, at MetLife Stadium, they were really happy to see the strides that Daniel Jones is making. And to see him go out with an injury, you know, you wish the best for him. And what Daniel said after the game, and I'll get to that in just a second, is he hopes to be out there across the pond in London next week. How frustrating is that or difficult when you're told you're shut down? Uh, it's frustrating. Obviously, you want to play and you want to be out there uh, with your teammates at the end of a game, you know, where we're fighting and, and uh, trying to win. But, um, you know, I thought guys stepped up and, you know, played great finishing off the game. Considering how much you ran today, um, you were not really able to do that, would you, you know, if you were back, back in the game, were you? Uh, probably not. I think that was part of the decision. Why, why were you so successful early on with those long runs? Why was that, in your mind, why was that there for you? Um, well, I think um, the offensive line did a great job early on in the game. You know, we had a couple <coughs> big runs with Saquon and, and things were opened up and then uh, we had a couple compliments off it, um, you know, and, and they were obviously playing 
playing Saquon, playing the downhill run, and so we had some chances off of it. But you know, I think hats off to the offensive line. They did a great job controlling the line of scrimmage all day. The Giants' defense held strong today. You know, Dexter Lawrence made some key tackles. I met up with him in the locker room after the game, and this is what he had to say about the team's victory and how they played as a whole. Bend it, but not break it. Um, you know, we all we preach big. We big on you know, play the next down. Uh, the next play is our play. Or the thing, and you know, we kind of see that. Finally, next week, the Giants, they're going across the pond to face the Packers in London. 2.30 start time over there, but 9.30 on the East Coast here. I'm looking forward to that game. I won't be able to cover it, unfortunately, but I will be back here in two weeks to cover the Giants-Ravens game. The Ravens are probably the toughest opponent the Giants have faced. The Ravens, uh, they fell to the Bills in a really close game today. A lot of people think the Bills are the team to beat in the NFL. So the Giants will have a true test in two weeks here at MetLife Stadium. I'll be here to cover it all. For WFUB Sports, I'm Bridge Gotham.